After seeking help from professionals, some personal growth and a complete re-evaluation of your mental state and your current place in life, there comes a point where you realize how far you've come and it is a beautiful moment when you do. You feel the change within you and, you, and the change shows outwardly. Change is beautiful, you are beautiful. The first one I ever made was during the earthquake in 2015. Like the rest of Nepal, I was very traumatized. So I took out the first thing I saw in my room, which happened to be a small sketchbook and my pencil collection. And I just sat down for about three or four hours. And out of nowhere, I just, you know, started drawing them. I started with the normal human figure. And then every time I felt a bit of anxiety or panic, I just sort of went off the lines, like out of the lines. And that sort of turned into like the images you see in the piece. When you have anxiety and depression, you tend to overthink things a lot. So when you do art, you can only focus on the thing there in front of you at, the, at, at any given moment. So it sort of like streamlines your focus and your vision so that you only have one thing to think about. And the less you think about things, the more calm you are. I always knew that I was going to focus on something about mental health and when it comes to my own artwork, I never thought that I would be creating it from my deepest, darkest moments. I thought maybe I could think of a theme and then I would draw it. And then that really didn't work for me. So I started compiling all the pieces I made during my uh, anxiety attacks and I transferred it onto the big black book. Plus I found writings from when I was younger, you know, and that worked as a nice prompt. So I sort of just let it flow rather than force it to happen. And that's how it sort of came along. It took, it took a lot of courage for me to do it because now when this exhibition is in go up, I am bearing my most vulnerable and most weak low points of my life out to the public. You don't have to suffer alone. The more you reach out, the more you ask for help, the, the, the better it is for you and the better it is for the community if you come forward with the problem. Because if you keep it inside, no one will know about it. And the less people know about it, the less you'll get help, and the less other people will get help.